What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another edition of the Fisk Family Zoo. Where we are the animals. <laughs> Alright, guys. Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to go over a little bit of uh, cage maintenance. And uh, as you see, we got Dude out here. We're going to go over a little bit of uh, nail trimming. He just shed. He did just shed. He looked real nice. And his nails are really sharp and pointy. He's trying to trying to own me. So Danny had the idea to let's start trimming his nails, right? Yeah, let's put him on the uh, tank here. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Come here, dude. We can get a little bit of a better view here. As you guys can see, his little nails there are like needles. So you just want to trim off that little, little tiny needle like part. And another good thing, guys, is that if you don't want to have to go through this and trim their nails, you can put them on something like a slate or ceramic tiles. Um, so when they walk around their enclosure, they kind of wear them down naturally. This, you just got to be careful. As you can see, there's a little black or darker spot in there where that's where the blood supply is. That's what you don't want to cut. If you do accidentally cut it, oh, they might bleed what a little are you doing? bit. You can use something like flour or um, other kinds of powders. One last nail, buddy. One last nail. Don't go running away just yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you see? I think he wants to eat the toke gecko. He might want to eat the toke gecko. Uh oh, he's in a climbing mood. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want me to pull him off? Yeah, dude. <sighs> yeah, dude. <laughs> the nails don't longer, they don't anymore, they don't poke you anymore, but they tickle you. I would definitely agree. They are kind of ticklish at this point. All right. We only missed one. Like, is that good enough? I think we could let one nail. You want one, one, one nail sharp nail, slide. buddy? He can have one sharp nail. He's trying to really get his colors here, guys. He's looking really good. So this is our first bearded dragon. If anybody in our audience has a bearded dragon, how often do you have to trim its nails? Just wondering. So, for the rest of today's episode, some of our snake cages are a little soiled and dirty. So, uh, I want to get to cleaning them out. Definitely a good idea. Can never go wrong with a clean enclosure. Let's let, uh, dude back into his cage. Alright, buddy. Time to go home. His cage is pretty soiled too, so let's see if you're taking care of that. Alright, so dude, what do you want to do with the snake? That's one of the main things you gotta do when you want to clean the closure. What do you want to do with the snake? Um we could just pick her up. Oh, she's a little is that your hand that's wet? Or? Yeah, my hand's wet. I just wash my <laughs> hands. I like to wash my hands a lot in between animals, you know? Because we haven't had that your dragon for all that long. Even though Danny just tainted it. I try to practice good quarantine safety practices. You want to get a shot of this cage? It's pretty gross. She did this in like the last day. Like yesterday Ooh. wasn't gross. She just like spilled the water bowl, pissing and shit everywhere. It's gross. 
pretty gross. She's trying to take me over here. I don't know if this ain't the best camera work, guys, but... I feel like we should give her a bath, dude. That fucking tub smells. Yeah, and she's getting her nasty waters all up on me. Yeah, you're covered. I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Oh, you're doing selfie mode? I'm uh, just doing a little selfie. We got this chlorhexidine stuff. I'm just going to add a little splash. And maybe, uh... Spray it out a little bit. She's somewhere. Oh, she's trying to get away from me. The glare in here is terrible, guys. Sorry for that. That's what happens when you have glass front enclosures. So I mix some water, take a paper towel, I rub, rub everything down. Rub the water bowl down in this good chlorhexidine solution. Do everything. Uh, I'm just gonna go rinse this out real good, and then uh, do you want to talk about like using paper towels versus cocoa husk or loose substrate? Yeah, the glorious uh, life of owning snake guys. This is a regular routine; happens often. So, as far as substrate goes for the snakes, you see this one's wrapping themselves around me. As far as substrate goes, you can see this girl has cocoa fiber. And then if you look below, this girl, who's definitely hiding in there, the jag, has paper towel. It really depends on your snake, guys, and what you want, whether you're going for aesthetics or easy to keep up the humidity. So, as far as, sorry, this snake is a little bit up on the my tripod here. Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. She is trying to take over my phone. Definitely being unruly. So, back to substrate. So which substrate did you decide to put in this new fresh clean tub? Oh, to put in the new tub. We were just getting to talking and then she, uh... Got a little unruly and was trying to take my phone. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Fuck. Dude. <laughs> so what do you think, Dean? Should we put in paper towel, which is so easy? We had paper towel, which is the easy substrate. And we're also using it for her because I had to put a lotion on her, or a, a cream. Actually, it's right here. It's silver... Sulfadiazine cream. This is prescribed by a vet. Um, she had some scales that were kind of tipped up, and I was worried about them, so I brought her in and got her checked out. At the same time, because he also had an injury on his nose, you can see there. Um, so they were both on paper towels while I was letting them kind of recover, but. Mary Jane here is back to full health, so we could put her on cocoa substrate if you want. It's just a little harder to clean. I think. It's very good for the humidity, though. For humidity, and it lasts so much longer. Paper towels are, like, just quick, and you gotta change them yeah. often. Paper towels are that quick. stuff you can scoop out and spot clean, and it lasts a lot longer. You can maybe get, like, two, three months out of the stuff before it starts. It'll get dusty. And that's when you know it's time to change it. I love the cocoa fiber. It's like all natural. It's like dirt. It's 
good, nice, natural dirt. Yeah, it actually comes in brick form. That's it right there. Zoomed makes it. Eco Earth is what we usually get. You get like three, three bricks is like maybe seven dollars. There's a little plant growing in there. There was a little plant growing. In the Eco Earth? Yeah. It's like a little bean sprout or something. Look at that. Guys, if you know what that is, comment below. Let us there. know if you've ever seen that. Hopefully it's not a mushroom. In your Eco Earth. No, we only made that a few days ago. I'd like to put about a half inch or so thick. Yeah. You know? Cover snakes aren't like an ultra high humidity snake. You know, the more humidity it on leaves, the deeper you make this stuff. Some good jungle carp python handling footage right here. You guys can see she is quite tame. I've just been playing with her the whole time. Hold on, girl. Almost done. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you like smell it, make sure there's no like chemicals. Pour everything back. How it ought to be. Fill up the water bowl. Yeah, here, that Guys, that's my uh, herb stat two. It's a thermostat dual zone. I only actually have it set up as one zone. I have it set up for the rack because it's all one set of heat. I actually got some cool stickers on my rack here too. Uh, Jungle Carpet Python and Boa Man. Those are courtesy of uh, this guy is from Boa Kings. If anybody's heard of them, they're a pretty reputable breeder. breeder. And uh, this is from a uh, local artist, Nataline Vito. Actually, I think it might be on there. Yep. You guys say goodbye to Mary Jane. Goodbye, Mary Jane. Nice fresh clean cage. See how everybody else is doing. Oh, you look pretty good. Yeah, I just pulled her out. Good thing you didn't strike. See, hers is getting kind of dusty. Probably got to change that pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, this guy is fine. Yeah, I cleaned out her water bowl earlier, actually. Oh. She's fine. I'm thinking about maybe, I put I posted my snakes on Craigslist to see if there's any good trades going on. Somebody wanted to buy them like, for like, you know, a good, real good price. And a lot of people would hit me up on her. Got a couple good offers. Dude wants to trade me uh, a trio of leopard geckos and, uh, Boo. and a pink pastel hognose. The pink pastel hognose, those are pretty cool, man. Yeah, but leopard geckos are lame. I kind of like, I really want to try keeping leopard gecko. Arboreal geckos. But I've had the snake for so long, like, she's so fucking awesome. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get rid of her. <laughs> Are you struggling with her? Yeah, she's like... She's jumpy when you touch her. Yeah. At first. I don't know why she's gotten like this. She's always been like that. You think? Yeah, I think but so. But never bit, right? No, she doesn't bite. She's absolutely <laughs> retarded, you guys. <laughs> this snake will not bite you. <laughs> She'll jump. Right. Thanks, Buddy. Let's stop wiling her up. All right, so the cages are pretty clean. I don't right. really. Uh, I think that's uh, all we got for today. That's about it for today. All right, guys. So we've been doing a little bit more talking about our giveaway. Hold on, hold on. Before we talk about the giveaway, let me just show you a polyon. You showed them that polyon is using. I did not. I did not. He is in. Just this morning, I woke up. And he's enjoying his perch. He's been there all day. He loves his new perch that I made him. Keeping an eye on us. You see that? He is keeping an eye on us. All right, Danny. Let me uh, get this back to you. All right, guys. So back to what I was going to say. So we've been thinking about our uh, giveaway and what we're going to do. So we're going to do is for 100 subscribers. 
Once we reach 100 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. Um, what we want from everybody is we want you to f subscribe to the YouTube channel and like us on Instagram. Got it? Both 100 of us. subscribers. And then comment when you're Instagram. done. And uh, we've been thinking maybe we'll do something small. Uh, it depends on what you guys are into. Whether, we, you know, the person who wins, you know, maybe it'll be like a small thing of uh, gecko food, like Pangea or a reptile, like a snake hide or something. I don't know, guys. We'll see. We'll run with it. And until next time, YouTube, we will see you on the flip side. Hashtag Fisk Family Zoo. Fisk Family Zoo. Hashtag.